Hey art lovers, Guinevere here, and today I'd like to talk about brands of oil paint. So I'm going to share with you the brands that I prefer and I use, and I'll explain a little bit about why. I am a photorealist or hyperrealist oil painter, so that has a little bit of influence on the brands of paint that I choose to use. Figuring out what brand of paint is right for you really depends on a lot of different things. The way that you paint, the type of style that you're going to be using. So it is definitely a personal preference. I'll start by saying that I don't have any affiliations with any of these brands of paint. These are just my personal preferences that I have developed over years of painting. I'll also say that it's really important for any artist to occasionally try other brands just to see if there's something you like better out there. All right, let's dive right in. So first of all, I'm gonna talk about our most budget-friendly option here, and that would be the Daler Rowney Georgian brand. This was a brand of paint that I used uh, while I was an art student at art school. As you can see, I still have a couple tubes of it laying around, and I will use it on occasion for quick studies. Now for the reason why I suggest Georgian. So I prefer Georgian over Winton, which is another student grade brand paint, because Georgian has a, a smoother texture than Winton. Winton is stiffer and a bit more pasty, so I really prefer Georgian because it has a smoother texture, and I find the texture to be more similar to that of artist grade paints. So if you're just starting out or you're on a budget, I think Georgian is the way to go. Now let's move on to some artist grade paints. First up, I'm going to talk about Grumbacher. I inherited a couple of these tubes from my dad and I actually really enjoyed this cadmium yellow. It had a really nice smooth texture and it also had a really long open time, meaning it had a very slow drying time, which is something that I really look for in a paint. I enjoyed that yellow so much that I recently purchased a brand new tube of the same color in the hopes that it will still have the same quality as the years old version. I haven't used the new tube yet, so I can't be sure. Next up we have Gamblin. Gamblin is a really popular brand and it's made right here in Portland, Oregon. I do like Gamblin, it has really good pigment um, the one thing that I am not a huge fan about is that it's a little bit thicker. Over the years, again, I've tried a bunch of different paints and I tend to not like the thick ones because with a lot of mixing throughout an eight hour day, the thicker paints tend to tire out my hand while I'm trying to mix. So I prefer the paints that are a bit smoother and softer. While we're on the subject of thicker paints, I will mention the Richeson brand of oil paint. This is a brand that I really didn't have any experience with um, until a couple years ago when I won an award in a show and I actually won a bunch of their paints. So it was a great opportunity for me to try out a new brand of paint. So far, my verdict for Richeson is a thumbs up. I've been enjoying the pigments in it. It's got a nice pigment load and um, the drying time is also not too brief. There really are a lot of great brands of oil paint out there. You just really need to take the time to try them out yourself and see what you like. Next up, we have a really solid standby, uh, Winsor Newton. Winsor Newton is a very high quality brand and they're also extremely popular, so you should be able to find them most any places that sell artist oil paints. Winsor Newton has been a standard brand in my studio for many years. I do tend to try different brands just to see if I can dethrone them, but Windsor Newton is just a really strong overall brand. Now, last but not least, I would like to mention my favorite brand of oil paint, M. Graham. Right away when I started using M. Graham, I noticed a difference. The texture of it is very different. It is a bit smoother and thinner, so it doesn't take as much muscle to mix it in with your other paints. It truly has the texture of slightly melted butter. M. Graham also has a longer drying time, so it works really well for me when I'm trying to go back the next day and work on fine details. M. Graham, again, is made right here in Portland, Oregon. 
Um, so I know that it can be tricky to find in other parts of the country. They are a smaller brand, so the distribution is not as big as, say, Gamblin. But I would highly suggest checking them out and giving it a try. So those are my recommendations for brands that I prefer. Again, it is personal choice, so every artist has their own opinion on what they like and don't like. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you'd like to check out some of my time lapses of my paintings, check out some of my other videos. And hey, it'd be really cool if you could subscribe too. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.